Vanessa, do you want to tell us um, where you're from and what it was like, like your upbringing and just maybe childhood just in general? Uh, actually, I'm from the southwest region of Cameroon. Yeah, I, I went to school to, to, to the degree level, like um, I had a bachelor's degree. Okay, sick. In, in political sciences. <laughs> so it, it actually helps me today to express myself somehow politically through the art. And because I merge all these subjects in my art, I try to merge them. Do try to create a kind of feel to the art, but I miss the cultural, I miss the political aspects, I miss how we could change all these things. So it really affects me, it really motivates me. Also. So okay. on, a, on a wide spectrum, because obviously like I'm happy you said that because looking at your pieces from the moment I saw it last week or the week before, I was drawn to it um, straight away. A lot of people make art or a lot of people are artists or whatever. I'm only drawn to people that to me look like one of ones. You know, like their um, their pieces just grab your attention, even if you don't understand it. You're looking and you're trying to figure it out, but still looks good. I'd like to know, like maybe, like the relationship between politics and art in Cameroon. Like most African countries, you know, you can't just you can't just express your mind anyhow, because you know my country will have a president for the past. Day five years now and it's frustrating sometimes and when you want to put out political content you try to hide it you try to look for means to hide it so you don't get into real trouble you know so it's, it's really it's challenging for artists to really express them, themselves in that level because most 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 people here yeah, most government officials they are like zombies man they just <laughs> zombie or zombie <laughs> <laughs> if you just mess up, they could, you could get you could get really messed up, like really messed up. So we try to put out some political content, but at the same time we're trying to be critical about it, try to to play around it, but still expressing ourselves. Okay, and would you say you're not afraid of putting out? Um, a message with your art and actually putting the right captions in your post because your, your captions are, are super strong. But, so are you saying that you're not afraid? Uh, somehow, fear is not is not an option in this life. Mm. So to live, to live, to the secret of life is to have no fear. Yeah. So just just try to do what is right and then to to do something that people really. Like people relate to because most people are frustrated and they can't really express themselves. So when they see caption, they see some kind of thing, they relate to it easily because it's, it's something that is universal somehow. The stress is universal. Yeah. Mm, mm, stress is universal. I like that. I like that. Um, in, in Nigeria, we have Fela Kuti, you know, that stood up for the people. In Cameroon, who do you have in the past or in the present? that are people that are making an impact with their with their art, both musically, whether or as a painter or whatever, past or present? Uh, in Cameroon, we used to have uh, La Piro. I don't know if you've ever heard, you ever heard of him. No, nah, we'll, we'll check him out after. Yeah, La Piro de Banga. We used to have him as, as a musician, I can think. But the rest were... I can't really tell of any like an activist in their in their art or I can't really I can't really place my hand around them because it doesn't end well yet. It's really crazy yet. You get you get missing. You get missing. Is art your full time thing? Um or is it kind of a side thing? And then how did the family react to like you wanting to pursue art? Actually art is my first like I, I live on art actually. Okay. So yeah, when I left school, my dad actually sees me as someone living on hope. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm painting and hoping that people will buy and make I'll make a living out of it. So he he wasn't really comfortable with me just doing art. He wanted me to probably get into political office or get into government office and, and serve the government somehow. Like a job I could have a steady salary. So that's what he wanted. But at the long run, things are so he understands now. Mm. Yeah. Wow. 
So what you you live off your art? Yeah. Wow, that's cool, man. Yeah, big up to you. Congrats on that. Um, that's really cool, man. What does the word conversation? What does that mean to you? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Because to me, I think nothing could happen without conversation of any sort. If I do like this, it's a sign I'm saying something. If I if I sleep and I think of something, it's, it's, it's a conversation I'm having. So nothing could happen without conversation. When I was creating the series, was we should merge this conversation. Like we should get in contact with each other to have to have like to create a, a positive world of some sort. Because if you didn't reach out to me, I won't be talking to you now, and you'll get to know me better. So that's what I'm trying to pass out through all of my all of my works on the series. And if you notice, there was there was this aspect of the exaggeration, eyes, ears, nose, and everything. It's just a merge. Like in the process of, of the conversation, you learn from each other. Mm. So if you have a bigger eye, maybe you have a vision on something. In the process, we merge. Me, I have a smaller vision on that same thing. So in the combination of all of these, we could learn from each other and they will grow together. The ears, likewise, the mouth. If you have something you want to say to someone, in the discussion, in the conversation, you could easily relate that thing to the person and then we grow. But positive conversations. <laughs> Would you say you, your style is contemporary art? Is that what you describe it as? Uh, I describe it as Cesar style. <laughs> okay. If, if you weren't yeah. making Cesar style, um, what other styles of art would you do or what other styles of art do you like you know uh i love i love surrealism surrealism yeah realism. i love i love it. like I love, salvador I love, dali yeah yeah i love i love the brush the brush tubes i love to see them as well mm-hmm. dope dope so how how important? I mean, how important do you think that is for African art, and and where do you see African art being va- being viewed in the world now by Africans or the world itself? You know, the value. We're getting there. It's getting big. It's getting really big because people, all of a sudden, everybody is concerned. Like everybody feels like the blacks were starting to feel black, or starting to feel like. It we're getting there. I think in some years to come, Africa has to have its place. Like it should, it should have seen it long ago. Because they've been stealing our culture. It's been, it's been like, but all of a sudden, the black skin has been trying to to make people understand that we we matter somehow. Yeah, we do, we do. So, what, would you say that we're now creating new? Um, new legendary pieces, not only relying on the old stuff from before, but now we're creating new artworks to stand the test of time. Yeah, it's like a renaissance. Mm. Art renaissance somehow. Black art. art. Artist or painter, what do you prefer? Because I know your bio, I saw in your bio, you had... <laughs> Either. Which one do you prefer? Both of them. <laughs> okay, and what would you say the difference is? Um, uh, artist. Though the spelling is variable, if you pronounce it, someone could think it's a musician. Mm. That's why I put in bracket painter. <laughs> yeah, I I hate how that's it's the word artist has been hijacked by musicians. <laughs> Um, yeah. I mean, an, an artist is a painter. I mean, a musician is someone who makes music. Music. You yeah. know, maybe it's time to, uh, as as the painters, you should rise up and take back that word. A word. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and um, what, what's what's an average day like in your studio? Uh, just work. I come in the morning, eight a.m. I leave eight a.m. In the evening, so it just work. Music work. Music work. And do you work on different pieces? Do you work on just one piece? I work on different pieces at a time. 
Like I touch this, I touch that, I touch this. But when I'm doing the finishing, is one at the time. Okay. Okay. And what sort of music generally do you like to have in the background? Afrobeat. Hmm. <laughs> so like who? Which kind of Afrobeat are you listening to when you're You already know that. You already know that. What do you think I could be listening to? Some burner. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see? Yeah. yeah show, us, show us round. Show us round. Yeah, please. show us round the, the studio, man. That's so cool. I love that one. So, oh. Uh, wow. So this one behind me. Uh-huh. It's um I don't know if you missed me. Too. I'm actually working on this thing. I haven't heard from you. What was that? I hope you do. But I'm actually working on a series of oh, I bought your work. Okay. And um what's what's the series called? Uh Make We Talk. Forever. Make We Talk. Yeah. Okay. So, what inspired what inspired that that title? Talk. <laughs> <laughs> it goes back to that conversation thing. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. So, so what is it? You're still working on it, on that yeah. one behind you. Yes, yeah, I'm working on this one. Okay. So to you, when, what, what does that painting mean? Like when you say "make we talk," like it's not just this painting; it's the whole series as a whole. Make we okay. talk. But what the general idea I'm trying to put out is, uh, I'm trying to cite the the the, the left uh, those who are yet to be initiated into the aspect of us being black originally. Like we need to talk about them. <laughs> you mm. need to understand that being black is really part of you. Like the black people need to be part of them. It has to be your culture, cultural wise, uh, all the other aspects, even the mode of dressing these days. I see it all the time in the streets and I'm like, sometimes I put on a t-shirt and I'm like, who, who really came about this? Like, is it black? Is it, mm. is it our thinking? Is it? So those are the kind of things I want to express to this series. Okay. Mm. Yeah. And c- could you talk about how that painting um, portrays that idea? Like, why is he doing that? Why are there flowers behind him? Like, was, why is one eye bigger than the other? Okay, so uh, I named this piece uh, Monsters You Made from Bonner's song, Monsters You Made. So it's quite explicit on that, on that end, but somehow it's it mind blowing how we, we black sometimes, we don't think like black. We don't try to do things the black way. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to put it uh, like I'm racist or anything, but who have been suppressed for a long time. And sometimes when I close my eyes, it's really crazy, it's really crazy. If you think about it, it's crazy. But at the same time, there's one eye which is open, not not the both eyes are closed. There's one eye which is open for for a vision, for hope. So if we get into these conversations and we talk about them, then something is definitely going to change. And the flower shows some aspect of um, of love and um, aspiration. Growth. I love that. Who's your um, favorite artist? Uh, Picasso. We can tell. I was going to say it's very Picasso influence right. yeah. type thing with like the changing of the faces and everything and uh, like, um, you know, a bit surreal as well, like a mix between Picasso and Dali. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's cool, man. What is it about um, Picasso that you like? You just said it. <laughs> He, right. he, 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 he went out of the box. Like he practically went out of the box. I'm, I'm, I still think like I can't seem to think like I love to do things differently. If I could think like him at that time, then I'll, I'll be very happy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. But at at the time, at the twentieth century, people were doing other stuff. For him, he, he already saw ahead so it is like that was mind blowing for me
the alternative network.